If you have ever had to upscale footage and you've used AI-based upscalers, then you know that it can take hours. Us editors don't always have the time for that, especially if you need to upscale a lot of footage. But Fidelity Fuse achieves incredible results in real time directly on the timeline in Final Cut Pro. So in this video, I'm going to show you how it works and I'm also giving Fidelity Fuse away to five lucky people. So stay tuned to find out how you can enter the giveaway. Here's a quick before and after comparison before we get into how it works. When I zoom in further, you can clearly see the big difference it makes. And the best part is that I can play it back in real time without any rendering. So let's first talk about the workflow for using this plugin. And we'll use the example of upscaling 1080p footage to 4K. Fidelity Fuse processes video at your timeline resolution and Final Cut Pro applies effects based on each clip's source resolution. Simply put, when you create a new timeline, you want to set the resolution to your target output, which in this case is 4K. The clip is 1080p, so I'll drag that onto the timeline and I'll create a compound clip using the shortcut option G. Now my compound clip is 4K, even though the clip inside the compound clip is a 1080p clip. But that's what we want, so I can now apply the Fidelity Fuse effect to that 4K compound clip. Alternatively, you can also use an adjustment clip using the shortcut option A and put that above the clip in your timeline. Either one of these workflows will work, but it's important to do one of these two workflows to get the best results. Let's upscale this clip and go over what each parameter does. You'll notice I have the original 1080p clip without the compound clip here and the compound clip on top. I've cropped each of them so that we can work with this side-by-side -side view. Let's also zoom in here so we can get a close look at the details. To start, adjust the source footage width to the horizontal pixel count of your original clip. In this 1080p example, it's 1920 pixels. This tells the plugin the native detail level it's working from. If this is wrong, the plugin will misjudge texture and the result can look soft or overprocessed. So always set this first. Detail recovery is the main strength control. In other words, how aggressively Fidelity Fuse reconstructs edges and microtexture. I'll boost this all the way and it's obviously way too much, but it shows you where the detail will be added. We'll leave it like this for now so we can clearly see what we're adjusting in the shot and then we'll come back later to lower this. Detail sensitivity controls where the recovery is applied. Higher values let the plugin work across more of the shot, which is great for landscapes or foliage or textured surfaces. Lower values keep recovery selective, protecting smooth areas like skin. The goal is to adjust the sensitivity slider until it appears to be adding detail to the areas where you want to increase detail in, but not in the areas where it's just making the noise or the grain more prominent. I'll then go back and adjust the detail recovery to my liking. I found that somewhere between three and five is the sweet spot for most shots. Right about there is good. This two times super sampling option internally upscales at double the timeline resolution before downsampling to the target resolution. Basically, it reduces aliasing and helps create smoother gradients, especially with fine textures and hard edges. It does, however, increase the GPU usage and it might affect real-time playback. I don't need it for this shot, so I'll leave it unchecked. I do want to reduce some noise, so I'll enable it and I can use this slider to dial in the amount of reduction. I have found that the gentle setting works best, but you can go for a more balanced or more aggressive noise reduction setting if you need to. I'll switch the noise reduction off and on a few times so you can see the difference it makes in this darker area over here. If you feel like your shot needs it, you can add some additional post upscaling detailing, which is essentially some sharpening. Don't go overboard here because it will look really bad, but a little bit of extra sharpening can make the shot look really crisp. Here is a quick before and after comparison of the shot. The difference is huge. I often work with 1080p footage for client videos and Fidelity Fuse has been a lifesaver because now I have no more obvious low res shots in my edits. Fidelity Fuse is optimized for Apple Silicon and in most cases allows for real-time playback, making it one of the best ways to quickly upscale your footage while still getting great results. Now you can grab Fidelity Fuse using the link down below and the first 100 people will get 10% off using the code BRADWEST10 or into the giveaway also using the link down below to stand a chance to win one of five copies of the plugin. A big thanks to Fidelity Fuse for making this giveaway possible. If you're looking for other ways to edit faster, then you need to watch this video next to find out how you can become faster than 90% of video editors.